weekday, weekday, week 22, day five. We, we make mistakes and we just keep going. We don't, we don't have any second takes or edit. Or, we just go. And, and that's the way you have to be. You just got to go. The lesson this week was in good listener. And really when it gets down to it, carrot, tea bag, or egg, which one are you? Are you a thorn? Or are you the good soil? What, what are you going to do? Write this week a plus or a minus beside every day that you were a good listener. Now, one thing, and uh, I heard a coach tell me this one time, there are people that are great listeners. And there are people that simply wait their turn to talk. You know what I'm talking about. When, when, when you're talking to someone, you can tell if they're waiting their turn to talk or if they're listening to you. There is no greater compliment you're going to pay to a teacher or to someone that's talking to you than to listen. Look down to that cell phone and see if you don't insult someone. I promise you. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, Rings and jewelry are apologies for gifts. Did you hear that? Rings and jewelry are apologies for gifts. The only true gift you can give someone you love is your time. What he's really saying is sit down and listen. If you really do love someone, listen to them. That's what you've got to do. Our kids asked my wife a couple of years ago, said, Mom, what do you want for Christmas? And she said, two hours. Two hours? What are you talking about? I just want to sit down for two hours, just me and you, and talk. You talk and I'll listen. The greatest gift you can give someone you love is your time. And the time you give them is to listen to them. Take the time to sit down with your mom, your dad, your friends, your girlfriend, your brother, your sister. Sit down and listen to what they say. And when you ask them, how are they? Don't wait your turn to talk. Listen to what's said. Intelligent ignorance, make sure you listen to what's important and don't let other people determine what you're going to be, a carrot, an egg, or a tea bag. Write down a plus or a minus every day this week if you listened. And if you didn't listen, write down what it was that caused you not to listen and what are you going to do differently next week. On your goals, how did you do this week? Did you accomplish any one of the three or all three of the three? Now you're starting to listen. If you're accomplishing your goals, if you're sitting down and writing your goals, if you're making a plan and putting a time with it, you are the good soil. You're the tea bag. You're becoming the best you that you can be. If you don't, then tell me why you didn't. Somebody told you that it was silly? They're thorns. They're thorns. And you're a carrot <laughs> because you're going to bend any way they want you to. Instead of standing up for what you believe in and you say, no, no, this goal is exactly right. I need to write down three things I'm going to get done today. I need to become purpose-driven. Oh, don't do that. You're wasting your time. That is the silliest thing there. No sense in doing that. And if you listen to that, hello, carrot. If you don't listen to it and you say, no, we're going to do what's right. Now you got a tea bag. What if one guy on, on the football team, one guy in the family, one guy in the church, one guy in the business said, we're going to write down three goals every day and we're going to accomplish them. Make a difference? I promise you. I worked for Zig Ziglar and you had to write down six things 
that you were going to get done before you left that day and then post them on your board. <laughs> and there wasn't any doubt about that you were going to do it because there was nobody there that weren't tea bags. Everybody there with a tea bag or you didn't work with Zig Ziglar. If one person in your group starts doing it correctly, everybody does it correctly. You want to become purpose-driven? Write down three goals and get them accomplished. And don't be the carrot that bends in any direction. Intelligent ignorance. It's been a great week. I love the quality of listening. It's really helped me in my life. I hope be a better coach, a better father, a better person in listening to other people. Thanks for this week. Next week's going to be even better. I look forward to seeing you next week. Developingcharacter.org, coaching to change lives at gmail.com, 580 212 7752. Always look forward to hearing from you. See you next week.